Hello, it is Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Wednesday puzzle today, so midweek, mid-difficulty themed puzzle. And um, as has been a theme, I suppose the theme of this week for me has been um, not a huge amount of time. So once again, I'm going to be solving this, uh, hopefully, apace. We'll, we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, and uh, it seems as though the week has been cooperative with me in terms of um, puzzle difficulty. So let's hope that continues. And this midweek mid-difficulty crossword has been brought to us by Jenny Montague, Lewis Williams, Ryan Eaves, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Showmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Self Patreon campaign, for their generous support in bringing us this series and sustaining this channel. I do very much appreciate that. And if you'd like to join their ranks and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can of course find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or in a link in the description field underneath the video. And by following that same link, you can get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. So um, there has been an acrostic puzzle, which I think I forgot to mention that it, that it had actually been published. So there was an, a new acrostic pu um, puzzle published to the Patreon campaign just, I think, two days ago. Um, that was the first puzzle from 2023, so published on January 1st. And uh, also, I've recorded the practice puzzle from the Boss Words Spring Winter Wonder Solve uh, tournament, which I was unable to participate in in real time because of just time zones and everything else. But uh, I did, I have, I'm going to be recording those, um, solving those puzzles individually. So the first of those will be up on the Patreon soon, a practice puzzle. Uh, so look forward to that. Okay. Uh, also, you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. That's in a link in the description field as well. And please do subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've not yet done so. Thank you to everybody who has. Okay, let's get on with today's puzzle. This is a Wednesday crossword constructed by Chase Dittrich, who's uh, constructed around half a dozen puzzles, I think, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. In like a lion, out like a lamb, March adage. So that is said about the month of March. Oh, and we have some, just four, just four gray cells, okay. Interesting, interesting to see what's going on with those. Streaming hiccups could be lags. You don't usually see lags pluralized in that matter. In that manner, we had some lags. Yeah, does the, not really, but I think that's what this probably means. Uh, Moises of baseball fame, Alu. Um, I know that I know I know largely because of the crossword. Uh, there was a sort of family of famous baseball players. Uh, with the surname Alu. So that's my assumption in four letters starting with A. I said that will be the answer here. Soothing, ah, yes, okay. And, and an almost identical word, just one letter off. A soothing ingredient is, of course, the official medicinal plant of the New York Times crossword, aloe. There's, that's definitely one to remember. Water repellent, question mark. Hmm, not sure what that's getting at. Make a mistake while sitting down. And scuffle. I mean, this could be bum or something, some sort of pun, I'm not sure. Scuffle. Oh, why don't I see what that is? I don't know. Okay, knee stabilizer in brief. Is it ACL? Interior cruciate ligament or whatever it is. Comedian Wong, Ali Wong is a comedian. So maybe it is. Let's just try it. I'm not sure if that's right. Thor's mischievous brother is Loki, right, from myth. So there we go. And one of the fire signs is Leo. Um, lion sign. Is that right? One of the fire signs, Leo. I don't really know what fire sign means, to be honest with you. Um, but I assume... I assume this is the answer, <laughs> but I don't know what the different, are they, are, are there sort of four element signs, earth, water, fire, and wind, or, or what have you? Is that a thing? Okay, in any case, member of a string quartet could be a cello, one of the instruments that um, plays in a string quartet, that would be the lowest in the context of a string quartet. Alternative to 2% with or without the shaded letter. Oh, goat milk. Oh, that's clever. So, oops. 
Um, so we have goat milk, which would be an all so two percent milk would. I think we, we you would just assume that that's referring to to cow milk um, uh, and the cow's milk. Uh, but goat milk would be an alternative to that. But so would oat milk, of course, a non-dairy milk substitute. So there we go. That's very clever. So I guess we'll have four examples of this sort of um, letter reduction kind of theme answer. So water repellent. Oh, a moat, I see. A repellent, in other words, a defensive structure, you know, a, it's something to repel attackers that is a water feature, a moat around a castle. Okay, so the make a mistake while sitting down, but something, oh, but dial, right. You could dial a number in your phone, which is in your back pocket by sitting down. There we go, that's what it is. And scuffle, is it a set to? I think I, I sort of that popped into my head, but I wasn't really confident enough to, to say it. So a set to, is that sort of a melee, a, a combat or a brawl, I think is sort of what that is. Not, yes, yeah, so if it's not worth discussing, it's moot, which is not, just sort of specific to North American English, but um, but that is the case here. And place to practice martial arts is a dojo. And absolutely incredible is just amazing or something. Oh, actually, maybe it is. That does. Let's look at this VA concern. Oh, maybe not. I would think. I think VA in that context is the. Um, like a VA hospital, a veterans hospital. Is it Veterans Association or something? But um, my guess would be PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, would be a concern for a VA facility. Um, nimble could be spry, maybe. And playground retort are not. So this is a sort of playground retort and similar clues uh, tend to be one from a fairly large sort of combinatorial set of are, am, not, or so. So you can, you know, I am so, are not, are so, am not, etc. depending on who's being addressed and, and uh, whatever else. So you just sort of have to fit, find the one that fits the crosses. Vision that's subject to interpretation. Vision that's subject to interpretation. Um... A dream? Maybe this isn't just. Actually, yeah, that you doesn't look very good there. So uh, a dream would be a vision you have while unconscious that can be interpreted. So a Tex-Mex dish fajita. So uh, that is a um, grilled meat dish with uh, peppers and onions. That's Tex-Mex. So um, sort of uh, Americanized Mexican food from the kind of border border regions. And I think was invented, I don't remember where it was invented, but it was uh, invented, you know, within the last century. It's not a sort of long-standing traditional dish. And the idea was it's served on a cast iron steaming hot skillet and brought to you on that skillet. And the, it's, I mean, to admit, it's a great experience to sort of smell and see the steaming fajitas. It is, it is a sort of incredibly appetizing set of sensations. And the idea was as it goes by other diners, they will be um, intrigued and enticed by this and will want to order it themselves. Okay, ridiculous display. A ridiculous display. Not sure if I take me away, take me as I am. There we go, take me as I am. Is a is a phrase. Word with shot or mold, jello shot or jello mold. So a, a jello shot, the kind of alcoholic shot, or a jello mold to to form the um, gelatin dessert into a shape. On the briny could be a sea. So the briny being the sea, the ocean. A small stream is a rill. And, oh, a ri ridiculous display is a farce. And so here we have the golden bears of the NCAA. Familiarly, this is. My alma mater, the University of California at Berkeley, which is the, the Golden Bears, Go Bears. So there's a sports clue I know. <laughs> be pretty embarrassing if I didn't. Um, things that might be raised in court with or without the shaded letter. Emotion or motions, right? Very clever, very good. So you can you can raise emotion in court and also the natural process of a trial will likely raise emotions of those participating or witnessing it. 
So if something is absolutely incredible, it's jaw dropping. There we go. Oops. And Mediterranean country with 8,500 miles of coastline. Um, why can't I think of a Mediterranean country? What's going on? Okay, let's keep looking around. Blank Grissom, longtime CSI character. Oh, no idea. I've never actually seen CSI, despite it coming up in the puzzle not infrequently. Um, Sid, I don't know. Brand for which Garfield was once a spokes cat. Alpo, I'm guessing, which is a, a pet food brand, I believe. So a Gil Grissom, maybe. That's that's uh, alliterative, which is often the case with fictional character names. Oh, Greece. Sorry, Mediterranean country with 8,500 miles of coastline. I'd be interested to know the method by which this measurement was calculated because famously coastlines are extraordinarily different, uh, difficult to measure because the finer the means by which you're uh, measuring, the longer the measurement tends to be. So different Different sources have, in some cases, fairly significantly different measurements for the coastlines of, of various countries. And that sort of craglier and, and more fractal like the uh, coast of the country or landmass in question is, the, 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 the more different those measurements tend to be. And it seems like the kind of thing there should just be definitive answers to. But in, in a lot of cases, there aren't really. So I'm, I'm curious. Anyway, gets out of Dodge. That is an expression that means flee. Get out of Dodge, you'll flee. So get out of town. Do Dodge being a town that serves as the, uh, I don't know, namesake for the phrase. So it may be half of a blackjack with or without the shaded letter. A face card. There we go. And without the shaded letter, it is an ace card. That's very good. So do these letters mean anything? G-F-E-P. It doesn't look like it. I don't, th I mean, yeah, it seems like the specific letters are arbitrary and just a result of the needs of the, each, each answer, uh, each clue. Airport near Olympia informally, SeaTac. So this is Seattle Tacoma International Airport um, near Olympia, Washington State in the U.S. And Simpson with an IQ of one, 159. It must be the fictional character Lisa Simpson from The Simpsons, I suppose. One named singer with the 2000 hit Only Time. Was it Enya? Enya is one of the sort of second tier official <laughs> musicians of the New York Times crossword. Certainly no Yoko Ono or Brian, Brian Eno, but, but close enough with that E-N-A. Uh, Nikkei 225 currency. This would be a stock market index, um, I would assume, from Japan. And the currency would be the yen because the, the Nikkei is the um, major stock market in Japan. So the I assume the Nikkei 225 is the sort of biggest 225 companies on that um, stock market or, or some other way of determining 225 important co companies. Anyway, uh, NBA Hall of Fame Bill Walton. I could be wrong with that inference about the Nikkei 225, but, I'm, but it's still obvious that the answer is the yen, the Japanese currency. Seriously, though? I mean, come on, you might protest. I mean, come on, seriously, though? Quaff, to ingest, to drink something, or maybe imbibe, because ingest I think of as eating, whereas imbibe is, is drinking. So there we go. I mean, I suppose ingesting still could apply to liquid, but imbibe specifically and necessarily does. A mad dash uh, is a phrase, and sandwich on a sesame seed bun. So McDonald's Big Mac, oops, Big Mac hamburger is famously served on a sesame seed bun with special sauce and whatever else it has. Marvelous TV character, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. There we go, I do, I am aware of that. And lawn trimmers are edgers for sort of, I guess, straightening off the edges of grass along a, a you know, a yard. Uh, the perimeter, gotcha, could be I see. And Muppet that sin, sings doing the Pigeon. It must be Bert, I don't think I know the song, but maybe I, maybe I would if I heard it, I'm not sure. Modern lead into verse, a metaverse, an incredibly popular, uh, and I suspect not incredibly robustly long-lived, but we'll see, concept of the metaverse. Disney princess who can conjure ice, uh, Elsa from Frozen, and 
Not just bad, it is awful, it is terrible. Blank island, a location that's not really an island. Rhode Island, maybe? The U.S. state? I don't think that's technically an island. Um, Doctor Who is a, is a long-running British television series. Uh, yeah, so that RH does make me think it's Rhode. And pharmacy amounts could be doses um, of medication. Alien conveyances, UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Um, on a streak, if you're streaking, you're nude. So if you're on a streak, you're nude. That's a good punny clue. Fruit of the Loom product featuring superhero themes. Well, Fruit of the Loom manufactures um, underwear. So uh, is it undie something? Featuring superhero themes. I don't know. But this looks like oodles. Yes, bajillions is oodles, a number for sort of an indeterminate large amount. Uh, Dionysian party would be an orgy. So Dionysus, the god of wine and revelry and so on. Okay, memo heading could be, uh, oops, ah, sorry. My microphone is just the way it's positioned today. It's blocking my keyboard and I just keep making some uh, typing mistakes is what's going on there. Uh, Chardonnay for one is a white wine. What, um... I don't know. Oh, it's a grape, right? Sorry. <laughs> so it's in addition to being the wine, it is the grape used to make that wine, Chardonnay grapes. Okay. Um, do for Billy Preston once. An Afro, Billy Preston, the, um, the keyboardist, right? I think. And I guess had an Afro um, at one point. Okay. Ones ranking below corporals are privates. In the military context, is that right? Maybe private first classes, because that V didn't look very good after the F. They might eliminate teams with or without the shaded letter. Oh, very. this is very clever. Playoffs, and we remove the P, and we get layoffs. That's so good, because those are completely different words. I mean, the thing that's nice about the first letter being the one that's removed is it puts a much higher burden on the constructor, because... Um, you're much, you know, you're changing the end of a word, changing a suffix, you're much less likely to change the fundamental meaning, but changing the beginning of a word, um, especially, just, especially just a single letter, which means it, you know, it couldn't be actually a full-fledged prefix, most likely. Um, you really are just turning it into a different word entirely. I suppose the only exception here is arguably emotions. I suspect emotions and motions have some kind of similar etymology, but the rest of these are I mean, play and lay, face and ace, goat and oat, those are not related words, clearly. So uh, very impressive to find ways to, to relate them in this manner. Okay, if one sits around, one idles, and to not feel great is to ail, to, to be a bit sick, to feel sick. Big name in outdoor gear, REI is um, a cooperative outdoor sportswear and outdoor, outdoor goods store in the U.S., Hobbit foes could be orcs, monsters from the Tolkien or Tolkien, as it was pointed out. I should be pronouncing it by a commenter recently. Um, novels. Oh, underoos. Is that something? Fruit of the Loom product featuring superhero themes. Underoos. Why does that? Why does that convey superheroes? I guess it. I guess it doesn't need to be obvious from the name. It's just the brand. Okay, so Meh is so so. And a Canadian gas brand is Esso. Not just Canadian, they actually have that here as well in the UK. Um, but anyway, derives from Standard Oil, which was a US um, gas giant. But uh, anyway, became Esso, E-S-S-O. Okay, corkscrew pasta rotini, maybe. Uh, I mean, rotini is a corkscrew pasta shape. I, I'm just trying to think if there are any others. This might be as well. Actress Vardalos, Nia Vardalos, um, I recognize, and wearisome, okay, <laughs> not what I was going to think. Just when I saw the, the fill without seeing the clue, I thought, oh, that looks like tahini, but it's clearly not tahini. Um, wearisome. Taxing? It's a wearisome uh, task. It's a taxing task. Uh, Trojan war hero Ajax from um, 
uh, Greek, Greek. Well, I don't know. Arguably myth, but essentially myth. I would think the Trojan War. Um, Guthrie, who wrote Alice's Restaurant, Arlo Guthrie, the um, folk singer and songwriter, one of the Cohen brothers. Um, so the directing, the writing, directing, and producing. Uh, filmmaking duo, Joel and Ethan Cohen. Slightly could be a tad. This looks like Lean In. Yes, 2013 Sheryl Sandberg bestseller, the book Lean In, um, sort of biz business, uh, I don't know, sort of memoir slash self-help book, I guess, kind of in a way. Slightly uh, a tad and a whoopee cushion for one is an old gag, indeed, an old, well-worn uh, joke object and there we go all right that was the wednesday crossword uh, a very simple theme and i don't think we have did we ever get i don't think we ever got a revealer um i suppose we don't really need one because each clue essentially explained the uh, working of the theme in each case uh it's, it's very clever it's very well done uh, goat milk becomes oat milk an alternative to two percent Face card and ace card, either one maybe half of a blackjack. Emotions and motions might both be raised in court. And finally, playoffs and layoffs are ways to eliminate teams. Of course, I guess we didn't really go over this one. So um, playoffs eliminate teams from a tournament and layoffs eliminate teams of employees from a company. Really very well found, I guess. Well well uh, identified by Chase Dittrich, these, these four pairs of kind of overlapping words separated only by their first letter or the, the presence or otherwise of it, I guess. Um, very good. Really enjoyed that. And I don't think we needed, uh, I think it was, it was impressive enough linguistically that I didn't, I'm not too bothered by the lack of a kind of bigger thing tying it together because I'm, I'm, I'm just very, uh, I'm very struck by <laughs> by having found these. I mean, goat milk and oat milk. And I mean, it's it's one of those things where it seems so obvious in retrospect. But I mean, if you had this idea and had to find four of these out of nothing, out of nowhere, and you didn't already, you know, I mean, it's just very impressive. You must have noticed one of them in in language. Maybe maybe goat milk and oat milk. I don't know. Who knows? You probably no noticed one of them and then thought, ah, there are probably a few more of these. Anyway, uh, very well done to him. I, I, I enjoyed that. And a nice, I think, another relatively approachable puzzle. So it's, it's been... It's been not too brutally challenging a week, I think. Um, perhaps that bodes ill for tomorrow and the following days. I don't know. We'll just have to find out. And you can find out by joining me for the Thursday puzzle with a more intricate or involved theme, likely. Um, and we'll see. We'll see how it pans out difficulty-wise. So join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Wednesday. Take care. Mm -hmm.